folks, so um, I don't really want to get into the habit of doing these types of videos constantly, um, but it just so happens that I am at home and I was doing some other math related stuff uh, when I saw that uh, Zori Bliss's ship, the comeuppance, was coming out uh, this Friday. And uh, generally, anytime that there is a new ship that comes out, um, the first thing that I hear on Reddit or on Discord, and there's people tagging me going, oh, what's the math, what's the math, what's the math? Um, and right now, we don't know. Um, we don't know what energy the, um, the Galactic Chase is going to be on yet. Um, we don't know anything about it. Once the update hits, you know, the data mine will come in and we'll have a little bit more information. But the one thing we won't have until... Um, the event starts in Futureland, Australia, um, is drop rates. Now, just like every Galactic Chase, I will be tracking it live uh, down in the comments. Oh, there goes my pencil. Down in the comments, I'll link uh, my live tracking sheet, which is kind of where I keep track of all of the data that people sent me, and it will you know, update throughout the day of the actual live tracking. Um, but for now... What I just want to kind of do is go over some of our past galactic chases um, and give people who maybe this is their first time or they just have the memory of Dory from Finding Nemo um, just a chance to kind of get an idea of what to expect. And, and I say this understanding that in the past galactic chases could cost from 30 to 40,000 crystals, um, but around the time of the Tide Defender, things shifted a little bit more to a player friendly vibe for like the last four five six different ones that we've had so i'm kind of expecting it to be similar to that with that said um i was filming something earlier and i had had a very strong drink so for this one it's one of my favorite beers allagash white ah so what can we expect from this chase? Um, you know, looking back at the Marauder, the Marauder was on a um, was on light side energy, and with a thousand energy preload, and you have plenty of time right now to do that. Um, and again, uh, because it's light side energy for the Marauder, not for the comeuppance, um, you can kind of preload up to I believe it's two thousand, but just kind of going off a of one thousand preload. Um, you know, players were looking at about a 7,300 total crystal cost in order to um, seven star it um, with a, honestly, looking at all of this, total cost of nothing if you were to want it to four star it. Uh, only 2,500 crystals if you wanted to six star it, right? Again, that's with a um, thousand energy preload um, going from uh, five estimated refreshes a day all the way up to about nine estimated refreshes a day. Um, going back just a little bit, the Mark VI, a little bit different, it was on fleet energy. Um, Fleet energy preload of a thousand. We were looking at about sixty three hundred crystals for a seven star. Okay, so a little bit of of a um, of a jump there, and um, you know going into twenty twenty four, we really don't know what to expect. But what I think is going to probably happen is we're probably going to see something that's very similar to um, to the Marauder versus, you know, the Mark VI or the Thai Dorito or any of the other um, ships that we've had. And that, you know, can completely change depending on the type of energy that we have. So, or rather, that usually is going to normalize um, depending on the type of energy we have. So if it's, you know, light side energy where you get a lot more free a day, the uh, drop might be drop rate might be slightly lower than say um, fleet energy where we get just a little bit less from the bonuses each day um, to cantina where the refreshes might end up being a little bit higher um, but typically we see you know a big increase in the drop rate to kind of um, to kind of account for that 
Now again, I don't plan on doing another video with this. Um, I think the point of me doing this is it just was one of those things where like, hey, I'm here already. I was already doing some math stuff for some people. Um, me had just happened to post his kindergarten drawing, which I did try to draw better than him. And I realized that I can't, so I'm not going to show that off to anybody. Um, but also to kind of get that link out there. So the link to my live tracking, which a lot of you may already know, and I already see people kind of like popping into that data sheet already. And I'm looking at it literally right now. Um, I use it for every Galactic Chase. And there's two ways that you can use it. One, you can kind of just follow the math that I have as people from Discord um, and people from Reddit. Um, and now I guess maybe even people from YouTube start sending me that data. I kind of live track it um, and that'll update the drop rates accordingly based on the amount of data that I get. Uh, you can kind of follow along with that or because it's a read only sheet, you can copy the sheet yourself and you can track it yourself and that'll kind of allow you to um, change the parameters to whatever you want. Um, maybe you only um, preloaded 500 energy, maybe you preloaded, you know, 1500 energy, maybe you have this huge preload. Um, and that'll kind of allow you to see what's applicable to you. Uh, the last thing I kind of want to talk about is best practices when it comes to preloading energy. Um, when we talk about, um, when we talk about things like a double drop, you know, the best practices you kind of want to write before the uh, start of the event, you want to just barely hit the uh, soft cap, and the soft cap being where you can't buy any more energy, but you can still get bonus energy. Um, with a galactic chase like this, you know, we're, it's Tuesday night where I am now, we're talking Wednesday, Thursday, two and a half days, you really don't um, have enough time to go too crazy, but uh, I'm probably going to start hoarding my energy tomorrow morning. Um, depending, you know what, I'm probably going to hold off on doing my refreshes tomorrow morning and wait for the update to find out which energy it is on. And I'll switch that on my sheet afterwards um, to decide how I want to do my refreshes, because I don't like to let too much energy go to waste. Um, you know, I need signal data, I need shock prods, I need all that stuff. Um, but the other thing to keep in mind is, you know, how much you really need this ship. Um, I found in the past, you know, typically um, I don't end up using a ship right away at seven stars or, or need to use it at seven stars. I always I always seem to get it at the seven stars, but I, I don't want to overly stress it at the cost of, you know, other um, other materials. So with that said. Uh, you know, I'm sure other people will dazzle you with all of their fancy stuff later on. But like I said, right down below, um, I will post a link to uh, my live tracking sheet. And uh, if you want to be prepared for the event, just kind of um, click on that, save that sheet. I use it for literally every single one of them. Um, and if you start sending me data as soon as you get it, the more data I have, the more accurate it will be. Mahalo.